All right. Well, hey, everybody. Wow, that was a weak clap. I can't end my last reviews here in this office with a weak clap, man. Ha! All right. <laughs> well, hey, everybody. Grim Green back here today. Thank you so much for joining me again. Like I said, these are going to be my last reviews in this office. Genuinely kind of bums me out, but that doesn't mean, I mean, that doesn't mean we're not going to review stuff. I got a vapey thing that I wanted to talk about today. This is, this is a mech mod. I've been using a lot of mech mods lately. It's, it's, it's essentially just my preferred way to vape. I love a good tube, unregulated tube mech mod, and this is the Ronin competition mech mod. Competition isn't kind of a word that we've heard thrown around lately. It used to be real big back in the day. Let's call it 2014. Around 2014, 2015 is when the term competition really started. You don't see a lot of competition anymore, but this is called the Ronin Competition Mech Mod. It's a beautiful naval brass mech mod. I, I basically, spoiler alert, I kind of love everything about it. I mean, I kind of love everything about it except for the price, but we're going to get there when we get there. And in order to get to know this mech mod just a little bit better, what we're going to do is go up close. Yeah, as we always do. Quick short up be closey time. Oh, go. Yeah, here we go. We're going to talk about this Ronin mechanical mod top to bottom. We're going to take it apart. We're going to take apart part, take apart the switch. I'm going to show you a couple things that are in the inside. So let's start off with that switch. First, let me say naval brass top to bottom 510 hybrid connection as well. 25 millimeter diameter overall with silver plated contact in the bottom. So let's pull this switch out of here and I'll show it to you. It's a big beefy switch and also the threads on all of these threads beautiful, nice, buttery, smooth threads. There's your switch right there. There's your contact that's gonna come up and hit your battery. You got vent holes right here as well in the switch. So if I grab a flathead screwdriver and kind of put my finger here on the bottom, we can take this contact completely out. Oh God. It almost rolled off the damn desk. There's your contact right there. Silver plated contact, boom. This is a magnetic switch right here. Big old magnet on the bottom, threading on the top. Switch is also engraved on the bottom, Ronin. And then you have another smaller magnet on the inside that's going to repel that magnet and act as sort of a cushion of magnetic floating springiness. And sometimes these magnets fall out, but the way this is designed, it can't ever flip around and like get stuck together. All you have to do is find the negative poles of it. There you go that's the negative and then you want that negative facing down so you just drop it in there there's your magnet right there and it's really very simple to just put this together you don't have to do it quickly you don't have to do any sort of a sleight of hand to quickly get those magnets together without one of them flipping around screw that contact back down in there and that's it you're good to go you can actually adjust the throw of the switch by adjusting this contact as well as you can see right now if I continue to screw this contact down that that button is just going to recess further into the slot right there, further into its little housing. What I like to do is just back it off just a little bit. You're going to watch that switch drop down. I like my switch just to be completely flush even with the bottom of this. Yeah, that feels good right there. And then you press it, gives it a little bit longer of a throw. You can see that contact come up and hit your battery right there. So like I said, top cap is hybrid and the top cap is actually a little bit telescoping to take up for battery rattle to adjust for for maybe different length 510 pins on the atomizer. There's your top cap right there. And what this has inside of it that I think is just phenomenal, it's just a little Delrin insert. And this isn't really designed to be pulled in and out. It's in there real stiff, but I'm gonna try to yank it out right now. Oh, you got this little happy protective guy right here, which means, yeah, with the vent holes on the switch, you can run your batteries in this positive side down. Because it has this extra layer of safety between your battery and the mech mod, you can run it positive side down. If this didn't exist, I would not, not, not run my battery positive side down. You run your battery positive side down, any tiny little imperfection in your wrap or a little scratch or scuff or tear in your battery wraps, when you run it upside down, it can lead to a hard short, hard short which is why I always say run your batteries right side up 
always, always, always. Of course, the one exception to that is if your mech mod includes some sort of protection sleeve, whether it's plastic or Delrin or anything, but you want to protect that battery wrap. We got those really nice Ronin threads. We're just going to screw the switch all the way down, make it flush. I'm going to take this little Delrin piece with the small opening at the bottom and kind of just press it all the way down in there. It is a very, very snug fit. Boom, all the way down. Battery goes in, positive side down. So then I'm just going to take my little hybrid top cap here. It's 25 millimeters around, so I can use a 25 millimeter atomizer on there and it gives it a nice flush right there. Nice fit and finish. And one of the reasons that I also really love this particular hybrid top cap is when you're popping your battery in and out, which you're going to do through the top, because of the way that Delrin insert is in there, your battery literally physically can't come out the bottom. It can only come out the top. It stops right there on that little Delrin ledge. I really do like this hybrid, this particular hybrid 510, because when you're taking your battery in and out, you unscrew this, right? And then you can just set your atomizer down on this little platform, and it doesn't like fall over. You don't have to set it sideways or have it be at an angle like this sometimes. No, you just set it down and it's got its own its own little stage, its own little platform right there. If, if you don't knock it over accidentally, it'll stay up and then, you know, you swap out your batteries. And then you can just kind of place your hybrid top cap on here, spin it until it's getting a little bit snug and then it's kind of knurled here. There's kind of these little facets cut out and you just tighten it down just a little bit more. That's your finished product right there. Kind of gives it a cool, interesting look. It kind of bevels in here and then you have this little platform that your atomizer sits on. I, I really like the way this mech mod looks. This is telescoping, so it can come up and down based on the based on how long your 510 pin is, and I think that's really fantastic. Overall, it's really easy to adjust. So yeah, that's the Ronin mod, up close and personal. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna get back out to normal view. We're gonna vape this thing. Holy crap, just hitting so well, it's ridiculous. I realize that saying things hit well is just a completely anecdotal thing to say, but in my opinion, with this MTurk build on here and this competition mech mod and my brand new Sony VTC5A batteries, this is an intensely hard hitting mech mod. I really like the way this mech mod just feels in the hand. The naval brass makes it feel very substantial. And overall, I just like handling a mech mod. I think it's I think it's really comfortable. I think it's really ergonomic. This particular mech mod is is very nice, real well balanced. I can kind of just hold it right here between the crook of my thumb and my hand and that's that's where this mech mod lives. Soft magnetic throw on the switch. The contact hits every single time. I have had zero misfire with this, zero issues with any of the contacts on the inside. It all around just feels insanely durable. Aesthetically, I even kind of like the way it looks. I don't mind this huge engraving on the front because it, it, it honestly kind of looks kind of cool. It's kind of tattoo-y. It reminds me of like something you would see in like a tattoo shop, like art on the wall. It's that whole skull with the with the gas mask and some wings and then there's some, some guns and weapons in the back. I think it just looks very cool. And most importantly, it feels feels pleasant to touch. It doesn't feel like a chalkboard at all, which I was really worried about when I first got this, but it does have that deep engraving on there that you can feel. You can feel the texture of it, but it's not a negative texture. I'm a very textury person and I can honestly say categorically that this doesn't bother me in any way. Holding it, feeling it doesn't bother me in any way. I do also really like that it's 25 millimeters around so I can use 25 millimeter atomizers on it but with that said it's 25 millimeters around and that doesn't mean you can't use anything smaller on it. And if I grab something like this like the Bonza it's 24 millimeters around and it still fits on there. Looks nice. The fit and finish on it, it is beautiful. The way that the atomizer connects to this mod, I think just looks very cool and functions very efficiently. Now this mech mod is not for like the big mass market. This is not going to appeal to a lot of people. A, because it's a single tube unregulated 18650 mech mod and B, the price on it 
it is high. This is kind of an expensive mech mod. I'll throw a link down in the description, but Drip Revolution carries all of the Ronin competition mech mods. They have a few different varieties. This is the X2 Ambition model. And if you wanna buy this mech mod, it's gonna run you ah, about $170. That's expensive. There's no way around it. That's just an expensive mech mod. but I love using it so much and I just love the way that this hits and I like the added safety features in this. I like that there's vent holes in the bottom. I like that they included that Delrin sleeve to help protect your battery so that you have the ability to run it upside down if and when you actually need to take advantage of those vent holes, which should never happen. It should never happen, but it's still nice to know that those vent holes are there. So we're gonna come to the part where everybody's gonna get mad at me. Let's play the Aliens game or the FDA game where they come and take everything I have. I have zero vape gear, zero anything, zero mech mods. Is the Ronin competition mod something I would seek out and buy? I can't believe I'm going to say this, but yes, this is a mech mod that I wish to own. If I had nothing, this would honestly be possibly one of the first mech mods that I would go out and buy. I've been enjoying it that much. I'm an old school vapor. I like mech mods and I like glass dripper bottles. And this little combo right here has just been unbelievable. I, I love it. I literally love vaping this. And that's something that you just can't put a price on. And like I said, this is not gonna be for everyone. This isn't for mass consumption. These mods are made for people who want these mods. And I definitely am one of those people that really is into this mod that would probably save the money to buy a mod this nice. And I can already see down in the comments there's gonna be a lot of, well, it's just a tube, why, 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 was, why is a tube so expensive? It's just a tube and, and magnets, and why is it so expensive? Look, I'm not trying to justify the price on this. These are manufactured in the United States, which is another really big selling point for me. I'd like to buy a mech mod from a United States manufacturer. And without going down that road and getting on my soapbox, I'm just going to say, yeah, fuck yeah. I'd save up the money and I'd buy this mod. Having used it for as long as I have and falling in love with it as hard as I have, this is something that I would want to own in my life. I truly and honestly don't see this mech mod ever getting retired, ever. This is one of my, like, end game setups. I've been vaping for nine years now, and it's time that I actually settled down and kind of found my end game setups. And I think a mech mod and an RDA and a glass dripper bottle is just, it's just gonna be one of my end game setups. I, I can't help it, I really like it. So to anybody like myself that might be seeking out sort of a higher end sort of mech mod situation, the Ronin competition could be what you're looking for. But that's enough rambling from me. I'm gonna wrap this up. It is what it is. It's the Ronin competition mod, an expensive mech mod made in the USA that I happen to just absolutely fall in love with. Sorry, not sorry. That's what I got for today, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, yeah, dude, let's keep on vaping.